The David A. Endelman and Pamela Title Award, sponsored by David and Pamela, is for best international reporting in the broadcast media, showing a concern for the human condition. The citation goes to Maureen Olivesi of PRI of the World for Trauma and the Syrian War. The winners are Evan Williams, Edward Watts, and Rainey Aronson of Frontline. That's two, by the way, for escaping ISIS. The show exposes the terror group's brutality against women and children and offers an exclusive inside look at a secret underground cell working to free them. First of all, uh, thank you very much to the APC and to the judges. This is a tremendous honour for us all involved. Um, Edward Watts, the lead director on this piece, sadly couldn't make it tonight and passes on his sincere regrets. He very much tried to be here, but in fact, the fact that we were in Iraq together uh, meant that he wasn't able to come here on the visa that he had. The irony I tried to enforce on the border guards, but didn't, uh, the joke didn't go down too well. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, very importantly, I'd like to say thank you very much, first of all, to the frontline team, Rainey Aronson, Andrew Metz. Um, without them, this film wouldn't have been made. Uh, originally uh, commissioned by Channel 4 in Britain through Siobhan Sinerton, but the fact that frontline came in with the tremendous skill they have to craft these films is just amazing. And this continued support for this sort of film is so important in public broadcasting across the world, we believe. A couple of small things about the evolution of this film. It started off as a, an attempt to try and reveal what was going on inside the Islamic State in Syria. Uh, I had a small role, uh, which I'll get to in a second, but Edward was sent in to basically film with people who were trying to get Yazidi women who had been kidnapped by the Islamic State and were being sold as sex slaves. Uh, he found an amazing network of uh, people trying to get them out from within the Islamic State and he made that his film and he did a tremendous job at great personal risk to get that, uh, that film and those characters. My role was to uh, try and get material out from a very brave group of young Syrians who were secretly filming life inside Raqqa. They're called Raqqa is being slaughtered silently. Uh, I worked with them to give them the equipment and training to get that material out and we put the two films together and that's what became the final piece. Several of their members have been assassinated by the Islamic State in the course of their work and I'd just like to say that I think this award uh, is really for them and for the people involved in trying to battle the Islamic State. Finally, the film showed great terror the terror of being under something like the Islamic State, but it also showed hope and resilience. And it was the hope and resilience of the people who resisted extremism and violence in that situation. And that's what this film is really about. And that's the awards really for them. Thank you very much.